complex against weapons. Today, the southern cities of Ukraine, Kherson, Berdyansk and Melitopol have become places of resistance of the civilian population to the Russian occupiers. The most crowded protest was in Kherson. Thousands of people came out to the central square, which is symbolically called the Square of Freedom. Everything is to expel the Russian occupiers from their homeland. To stop a column of Russian military vehicles, the civilians lay down just under the wheels. To intimidate the people of Kherson, the Russian military men were shooting in the air. But they failed to disperse the protest. The real hero of the day was a policeman who climbed into a Russian armored vehicle with a Ukrainian flag in his hands. By the way, as soon as the Russian occupiers entered Kherson, they decided to shoot their own propaganda videos. They brought a humanitarian aid from Russia and set up the film crews of Russian channels to film how they seemed to take care of the citizens of Kherson. But the locals not only did not accept the fake humanitarian from the Russians, but also started protesting with the Ukrainian flags. Later, the locals started to tell them to go back home. Russian invaders blew up the railway tracks in Kyiv region. This happened when the residents of the bombed cities Irpin and Bucha were waiting for the evacuation train with their belongings. This is the suburb of Kyiv, where the fighting now is the fiercest. After the explosion on the railway, volunteers had to evacuate people to Kyiv by bus. Civilians had to walk several kilometers and cross the river through pieces of the destroyed bridge that was bombed on the first days of the war. This bridge also served as a shelter when the Russians began firing. Meanwhile, the Russian soldiers are trying to lift civilians with their cars, promising to take them through the Green Corridor. However, locals do not trust this scheme, knowing about its dangers. Currently, about 200 Russian tanks and armored personal carriers are situated near Irpin, and they are trying to break through towards Kyiv. Russians shoot at unarmed people. In Novopskov, Luhansk region, Russian soldiers began firing on civilians who took to the streets to oppose the occupiers who seized the village. <laughs> The shooting continued as locals tried to rescue the wounded people. There are three people in the hospital now. We protect ourselves from real beasts. They do not care who is on the opposite. The enemy has absolutely no common sense and pity. Take care of yourself said Serhii Gaidai, head of the Luhansk Regional Military Administration. Ukrainians all around the world. There's 65 millions of you. Those who became Ukrainian due to the call of spirit and conscience. There's hundreds of millions of you. Go out on all city squares around the world on the 5th and 6th of March and demand to close the sky above your motherland because they want to take away your motherland.